Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to take a look at a very interesting radical equation. And as you can see in the equation, the radicals are of the order 4. So the equation is 4th root of 97 minus x plus 4th root of x and that's equal to 5. Okay. Uh, generally, when we solve these kind of radical equations, the first thing that we want is to get rid of the radical symbols, right? It will make our equation solving much easier. So think about it. How can you get rid of the radical symbols? So I would like you to give this problem a try before we proceed to the solution and then you can come back and watch the solution. Okay. So the method that we are going to use for removing the radical symbols will be substitution method. Okay. So I'm going to substitute the first term as a. Okay. So let a be equal to fourth root of 97 minus x. And I'm going to substitute the second term as b. So let b be equal to fourth root of x. Okay. So straight away we get one equation that is this first term is a right and plus the second term is b. So a plus b equal to 5 right. So we got one equation a plus b equal to 5 from the substitution. Now let's come back to the equations that we have substituted in the first equation. In this equation I would like to raise both sides to the power of 4. So that is a to the power of 4 and this right side also to the power of 4 so that we can get rid of the fourth root. So from here we get a power 4 equal to 97 minus x because this fourth root and this fourth power will cancel each other. Do the same thing in this as well. So we raise b power 4. Okay, let me change the color for better clarity. So b power 4 and yes, the right side also to the power of 4 so that we get b power 4 equal to x. Now I'm going to add these two equations. Let's add them. So left hand side will be a power 4 plus b power 4. On the right hand side we'll be having 97 minus x from the first plus x from the second. So magically you can see that this x and this x will cancel each other. So we are getting rid of x. So we just have a power 4 plus b power 4 equal to 97. This is one equation and we had obtained another equation initially in terms of a and b, right? That is a plus b equal to 5. So we have a system of equations now. a power 4 plus b power 4 equal to 97 and a plus b equal to 5. If we solve them, we get the value of a and b and hopefully from there we can get the value of x as well. So let us go on and solve this system of equations. I would like to solve from the second equation that is a plus b equal to 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise this equation to the power of 2 on both sides. That is a plus b squared equal to 5 squared. Now you know the identity, right? a plus b whole squared. That's nothing but a square plus b square plus 2ab and that is equal to 25. Now I will take this 2ab to the right hand side so that I can isolate a square plus b square. So a square plus b square will be equal to 25 minus 2ab okay now uh, I hope that you are uh, getting to know where I'm going okay because uh, we have this expression a power 4 plus b power 4 so from this a square plus b square I want to reach a power 4 plus b power 4 how can I do that yes by squaring on both sides right so let's take the square on both sides for this expression as well the left hand side is of the form a plus b whole square right that is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab and the right side you can see that it is of the form a minus b whole square and that is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab so i'm going to directly expand both sides without wasting any time and uh, yes the left side will become a square the whole square that will become a to the power of 4 plus b square the whole square will become b power 4 plus 2ab will be 2a square b square equal to on the right hand side a square is 25 square which is 625 plus b square will be the square of the second term 2 square will be 4 and a b if you square you get a square b square minus 2 times a b so 2 times 2 will be 4 and 4 times 25 is 100 100 and we have this a b as well so let me put this a b here okay now we have this equation after expanding we already know the value of a power 4 plus b power 4, right? What is the value? 
yes it is 97 so we will substitute a power 4 plus b power 4 as 97 here so this is equal to 97 plus 2a square b square equal to 625 plus 4a square b square minus 100 ab now uh, let me bring all the terms from the left side to the right side and I will write the terms in the decreasing order of the degree. So starting with 4a square b square. So we have 4a square b square and this 2a square will, uh, b square will come to the right side. It will become minus 2a square b square and then I will write 100ab. I mean minus 100ab. Yes. Then we have plus 625 and the number 97 when it comes to the right side will become minus 97. This is equal to 0. Now 4a square b square minus 2a square b square is nothing but 2a square b square minus 100 ab and 625 minus 97 will give us 528 and this is equal to 0. Now you can see in this equation we can uh, reduce this equation by dividing both sides by 2. We have a common factor of 2 in all the terms right. So divide the first term by 2, second term by 2, third term and 0 by 2 is nothing but 0 itself. So here 2 and 2 will get cancelled out. So we have let me change the color okay we have a square b square minus 100 by 2 is 50 a b plus 528 by 2 is nothing but 264 equal to 0 so we have an equation looks like a quadratic equation but it has two variables okay i want to reduce it to an equation with one variable only so this can be written as a b the whole square right minus 50 a b plus 264 equal to 0. Now how do I reduce two variables to one variable? Yes, I hope you guessed it correctly. It is by substitution. So we substitute a b equal to let us say u. So this equation will become u square minus 50 u plus 264 equal to 0. So we have to solve this quadratic equation and find out the value of u. Then we get a b. From this we get the value of x as well. Okay. So we can solve the quadratic equation by three ways by factorization by completing the square or by the quadratic formula now since this number is big right 264 is very big and we have 50 as well so i would like not like to go for formula you can try it uh, maybe i can go for factorization here okay so that we have a different kind of an experience so for factorization i have to split this middle term minus 50 so we have to take this number 264 we are supposed to find out two factors of 264 whose sum will be equal to minus 50 and uh, I hope you will work this out. I have already known the numbers. So the numbers are 44 and 6. 44 times 6 is 264. Because if you multiply them, you get 264. If you add them, you get 50. But I want minus 50, not just 50. So I have to take minus 44 and minus 6. It will not change the product because if you multiply, if you multiply, the answer is still 264. And when you add them, the sum is minus 50 right so we can split the middle term using minus 44 and minus 6 so we have u square minus 44 u minus 6 u that is minus 50 u plus 264 equal to 0 from the first two terms we can take u as a common factor out so we have u minus 44 from the second two terms take minus 6 out and you will get the same factor u minus 44 you can verify this minus 6 into u is minus 6 u minus 6 into minus 44 is plus 6, uh, 264 so let us simplify this further by taking u minus 44 outside so the remaining part is u minus 6 equal to 0 so by using the zero pro uh, product rule so we get the two conditions that is u minus 44 the first factor equal to 0 and the second factor can be equal to 0 so u is equal to 44 is one possible solution u equal to 6 is another possible solution so here what is u right u was a substituted variable right it is equal to a b isn't it so we get the solution a b equal to 44 a b equal to 44 and a b equal to 6 two possible solutions are there but can we take a into b equal to 44 i am saying that we cannot take the first condition why because earlier we had an equation that a plus b should be equal to 5 right from the initial substitution and a and B must be positive numbers. Why? Because you can see that A 
is nothing but fourth root of something and that has to be a positive value and b also is fourth root of something it has to be a positive value so here we have to put a condition a and b must be greater than or equal to zero right so here we have two positive numbers okay let me go back to where we stopped so here we have two positive numbers whose product is 44 and whose sum is 5 can we have such kind of numbers so try with two positive numbers whose sum is 5 okay we can take a as 0 and then b will be 5 so 0 into 5 is not 44 we can take a as 1 and b as 4 still the product is not 44 44 is too big right and a is 2 and b is 3 2 plus 3 is 5 but 2 into 3 is not 44 and if you take other numbers also it will be same factors but in the reverse order okay and yes we cannot take uh, uh, like numbers like a six because if you take six then b will become minus one this is not possible because a and b must be positive numbers so it is not possible to have two numbers whose product is 44 and whose sum is five so this is rejected so we have to go for this condition and i guess from this pattern you must have guessed that 2 and 3 can be possible solutions because 2 into 3 is 6 but what if they are decimals right decimals are also possible so we should not directly conclude that a is 2 and b is 6 we have to solve so let us solve this equation and we have one more equation that is a plus b equal to 5 right from this equation i can write b equal to 6 by a so let us go on and substitute this result in the second equation so we get a plus b by b is nothing but 6 by a equal to 5 now i want to get rid of the a from the denominator so we have to multiply both sides of the equation by a so what will happen here a into a will become a square and then a when you multiply with 6 by a this a will get cancelled out right so we just have 6 equal to 5 times a so we bring this 5a to the right, uh, left side so we have a square minus 5a plus 6 equal to 0 this is a nice quadratic equation and a very simple one we can easily solve it and you can solve it i'm not going to make this video very lengthy by solving each and every equation so i hope you that you will be able to solve this equation and the solutions are a equal to 2 and a equal to 6 i mean sorry a equal to 3 and you can verify this by solving it so we have two solutions a equal to 2 and a equal to 3 and we have to get b also right so let's use this condition b equal to 6 by a right b equal to 6 by a so here b will be equal to 6 by 2 which is 3 that is the first set and here b will be equal to 6 by 3 which is 2 so in the first set we have a equal to 2 b equal to 3 in the second set we have the same values in the other way around right but our goal is to find out x not a and b right we have found out a and b and uh, from there uh, from a and b we have to find out x as well so let's go back to the substitution so we substituted a as fourth root of 97 minus x b as fourth root of x let's go back there and resubstitute the values of a and b to get the value of x okay yes so we have two possible sets here so we have to take a look at each and every set so from this first set a equal to 2, b equal to 3 so a is equal to fourth root of 97 minus x so this will be equal to 2 now so to remove the fourth root we raise both sides to power of 4 right so raise this to the power of 4 and this will to the power of 4 so that we get 97 minus x equal to 16 okay you bring this minus x to this side and 16 to the left side so we have x is equal to 97 minus 16 so that will give us x as 81 so x equal to 81 is a possible solution that is uh, we obtain this solution from a equal to 2 but what about b equal to 3 let's try that one as well so b is nothing but fourth root of x right and that is equal to what 3 now raise both sides to the power of 4 again so we get x equal to 3 power 4 which is again 81 okay so we get the same solution by using both the conditions not to worry about this so x is 81 that is one solution what about the second set so we have another set as well right so let's take a look at this set as well so a is equal to fourth root of 97 minus x and that should be equal to 3 okay raise both sides to the power of 4 so that we get 97 minus x and 3 to the power of 4 is equal to 81 now from here we get x is equal to 97 minus 81 so x is equal to 16 so we are getting another solution for x that is 16 try with b as well 
I assure you, you'll get the same solution x equal to 16 itself. You can try it. Okay, so we can finally conclude that this radical equation has two possible solutions. One is x equal to 81 and another one is x equal to 16. Okay, and both the solutions will work. You can plug them back in the equation and check both will work. And that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the solution for more such interesting videos kindly subscribe to my channel i will see you all in the next video